Straight Up Health Production. I'm sorry. What's the deal with calories? <laughs> they say calorie in, calorie out. A calorie is a calorie. Some people count them. Some people even rap about them. We're not going to get into the heavy science, no fads or hype, no controversy, just facts straight up. Let's start simple. What is a calorie? The first thing to make clear is that a calorie is not a thing. How do I, how do I get my... A calorie is a unit of measurement, like a gallon, an inch, or a pound. But instead of measuring liquid, length, or weight, calories measure energy in food or drinks. How this is calculated is interesting, but I'm not going to get into it because honestly, I don't think it matters for most people. If you're curious, look it up. The next thing that is important is to have a general understanding of how many calories you should be consuming per day. I touched on this briefly in my nutrition facts label video and the guidelines are still the same. General guidelines state that around 2000 to 2500 calories per day will work for most people. Again, this is general and it's just a guideline, meaning it will work for most people. Not all people, but most people. In reality, how many calories a person should consume depends largely on variables like their height, their weight, their age, their sex, and activity levels. You probably know or at least have heard that we burn calories, which is why we need to consume enough food to provide our bodies with energy to begin with. If you know that, it should be obvious that people who are more active or who are burning more calories may need to consume more calories. You thought I was really running? I was acting. Daily calorie amounts for a 50 year old who is overweight and trying to lose weight are going to be very different from a 25 year old who is extremely active and trying to gain muscle. In short, it depends. But that 2000 to 2500 range is usually an okay place to start. Since I'm talking about weight, let me touch on the statement calories in, calories out. At the end of the day, the laws of thermodynamics make this statement a fact. Put simply, if you regularly consume more calories than you burn, you'll end up gaining weight. This is called a caloric surplus because you're consuming more than you burn. If you regularly burn more calories than you consume, you'll end up losing weight. This is called a caloric deficit because you're burning more than you consume. If you generally and regularly keep these balanced, you're going to maintain your weight for the most part. There's only those three options. It's that simple. What about the statement, a calorie is a calorie? People can get a little feisty talking about this statement. And in my opinion, it's because it's kind of a trick question with multiple answers. On one side, yes, of course, technically, one calorie is equal to one calorie, no matter where it's coming from. 100 calories from broccoli and 100 calories from cookies are still 100 calories each. One gallon of milk and one gallon of gasoline are both one gallon. They're just measurements. Reminder, you use a fart sound effect. That one's, that's really gonna be a hot ticket, but... <laughs> When we ask the question, is a calorie a calorie, we're undoubtedly talking about nutrition and health, which is why people get a little frustrated because they're saying like, yeah, it's both a hundred calories, so it doesn't matter what you eat. Which of course, isn't really the case. So while someone could technically survive on eating cookies alone, they would be getting energy, they're not gonna be feeling very well, they're going to be lacking several essential nutrients, and they're going to extremely increase their risk for chronic disease. While a measurement is a measurement, a calorie is a calorie, food is not food. We want to choose the ones that are going to fuel our body in the best ways. Basically, ones that are providing us with the nutrients we have to have, not just the calories that taste really good. Hopefully this is a decent place to start. 
And remember, choose high quality, nutrient dense foods from various food groups. Don't only give your body the calories it wants, give your body the calories it needs. Peace. Stop, 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 stop,